Um, we have now a mechanical system, a more significant mechanical system in front of us. And so the idea here is to show you how to build the bond graph model right on the physical system so that you can see a one-to-one -one correspondence between the elements of the system and your bond graph model. So let's begin here by um, uh, identifying the distinct velocities, which are the ones that we want for the purpose of um, uh, starting the model right here. This would be um, a one. There's one thing that I I need to to tell you that there is a force on this and let me just so that be consistent with the color I'll just <coughs> put it in here like a force in here anyway I am starting to put the velocities first a one over here and you put the one over here we could put again the um, the um, reference as ones two uh, so that w it makes it a little easier to draw the bone graph but you we, you could simplify this ones but this uh, would be with velocity equals to zero and then velocity equals to zero and we could simplify this but what's the next step on each one junction see what elements experience that velocity so we have this would be i with value m sub one you will have this i with value m sub two and you will have this i with value M sub 3 sub 3 in here I would I would do um, a source of SF in here and then um, with value velocity equals to 0 and then I would do it over here also Except with velocity equals to zero. Then that's all on the ones. Now the relative um, velocities we could do any anywhere. This is going. This always going to be higher than this. So because so we we can and this um, like in here we have a zero with a one and this one is if this is b sub one and this is we usually use x one dot right and this would be x two dot sorry this would be x three dot so this would be x one dot minus x sub two dot and that difference is being seen by the c element and also the R element, which would be in this case, uh, if this would call it K sub two, let's call this K sub one, and this would be K sub three, and then K sub four, um, B sub, uh, let's do this B one, B sub two, B sub three and B sub four. So in any case, that's what this would be. The value of this C would be one over K sub one. The value of this R would be B sub two. In between these two, I think we have the same thing. Okay. And then you will have this would be x sub 1 x sub 2 dot minus x sub 3 dot like that we have the c and the r the same way yeah with value mm -hmm. 1 over k sub 3 and the r b sub 3 
in between these two we will have this again one with the C and the R element with value 1 over k sub 4 and this with value b sub 4 yeah pretty soon we are getting there we are almost done I think we only need this one and this would be a 1 with value x sub 1 dot minus the velocity and this we know is 0 and then we have to put the C and the R element. See, so this is pretty significant now. 1 over K sub 1 and B sub 1. Okay. And with this, we have done this bond graph model of a mechanical system. Wait, I think you're missing an R. Yeah. Uh, we are missing an R element yeah, someplace. Yeah, K5. Um, let's see. Uh, this over here oh a line. yeah here is here is a here is a little problem now that you point that out we need to do this right because this is between uh, no this is this is not correct right here this this in here you see this is correct to the point that we that we have the um, thank you for pointing it out um, this is this one of the C which is 1 over k sub 3 but this in between these are these are connected one after the other so this is like we have another one junction in here to make life a little easier in fact, I am going to do that. And then between these two, you see, we can connect this uh, C element. And between this one and this one, we will connect this R element. Although I could have put it off of a zero, I don't think that uh, uh, is as clear as as now. So you 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 have it in here, and if we want to, uh, we could practice the uh, the causal assignment. That's the last thing we're gonna do here. So this would be. Uh, do we have to include that force as a source of effort? Yes, yes, yes. Also. In here we are missing something. There's force in here. What would <coughs> force us to put one in here, right? S E and now I think we have it complete. So um, let's just do the causal assignment. Like I said, that's the last thing we're gonna do. In here we um, put the integral form for the I makes this ones like this. Yeah, and then this flow is gonna be like this, makes this like this, and that makes this two like this. So we are over here, go to the other eye, and that makes it like this. When you have two of this, the zero has to have one, and that makes this two like this. And in here we have this one, uh, this one makes this two like this, and in here we have uh, like this, the other one, and then the flow and I think we have it. Okay, that is, that is complete.